Hey guys, Joshua De Silva here and I'm joined by the non-smiling assassin, Azari Joseph. How do you feel about that name? I don't like it. <laughs> Why? Because I smile a lot. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Alright, everyone begs to differ, but a lot of people say that's you. Clean him up. That's the response from Azari Joseph. Alright, let's get into the questions. Azari, when did you first pick up cricket? From what I've been told, since birth. <laughs> but seriously, at the age of 14. Who was your greatest influence in your early career? My grandmother. She always wanted me to take cricket seriously. I guess she saw something that I haven't seen as yet. What was the hardest piece of criticism you took growing up? You should focus on your score because cricket is not going to get you anywhere. What is the first word that pops into your head when I say Winston Benjamin? Mentor, idol, realist. Tell me about your relationship with him and how he's helped you. Our relationship has gone back a while. My first ever real training session was with him because he's the one that really helped me along the way. You know, every Saturday morning, started just Saturday mornings, and then it went into every day. Then I got a chance to play for the league was on the 17th. And coincidentally, he was the head coach as well, so I also got to continue my work there with him. Nice. So, being the non-smiling assassin, what would it take for you to smile on the cricket field? I really can't tell, but I smile a lot, to be honest. Not off the field? Yeah. Yes, I mean, I not do. on the field. Off the field, yeah. Now, yeah, Come but not on, on the field. Josh, Maybe smile. a five, we can all my you to smile? Maybe. All right, let's do that the series, right? Okay. Thank, you. Thank you. Would you say your personality is different on and off the field? Yeah, I'd say, I'd say that, but I think it's mainly just because when I'm on the field, it's just down to business for me. When I'm off the field, I try to not really think about cricket too much. Try to slam the dominoes as hard as you can? As hard as I can. I heard it last night. Tell me about your kids. What kind of inspiration have they been to you and, and whatnot? After having my first child, that really influenced me to go harder, push harder. After my second, <laughs> I guess the energy basically doubled. Spanked. Over long on. Goes for six. Now that's what Azari Joseph is going to do. We all know I hit bigger sixes than you. But how hard do you work in the gym to hit those big ones that you hit sometimes? For the record, that's a lie. <laughs> I don't think it really has much to do with the gym work. I think it's just timing. You're a big star now. You've got an IPL contract. What are the chances of get me a little dinner or a little punch or something in Antigua. Well, you see, the thing is, right? All you have to do is ask. Oh, okay. I'll remember that. You have it on camera. Do you think you perform best under pressure? Generally, I think so. Because I thrive on, on pressure. If I see myself in a situation where I think it's a lot of pressure, sometimes I even try to, you know, put the situation in a precious way when it's not necessarily the case. Can you see yourself having a leadership role in the team in the future? I laugh because it'll be fun to see you lead. Yeah, I've been in leadership roles in different formats of the game. Okay. So I would see myself as a leader. I, I, could, I could see you have the, the leadership aspect. You just you want to make a little bit too many jokes, I think. Mm, not really. No? Nah. Alright, we'll see when that time comes. Maybe. What kind of leader do you think you would be? You have what, Batman? Some of them. I'd see myself as Batman. No superpowers, just a fast car? <laughs> fast car and fast bowling. Okay. <laughs> Do you set specific goals when it comes to cricket? Career-wise, yeah. Some small goals sometimes in series. Generally, I like to set my goals career-wise because you'll have a bit of setback sometimes. And sometimes you'll have a outstanding series will get you back on track. Do you have any goals for this series? Improve on my last series. Are we going to see more smiles from you now? If you ask nicely. If you had one wish in life, what would it be? Hmm. Only one. Only one. I guess you could, you could ask for more wishes with that one, but I don't think that would be fair. If I had one wish in life, it would probably be for my kids to have all the knowledge they need to not make the same mistakes I did. You made many mistakes? A lot of mistakes. Okay, well, teach them the right way. You can only teach so much. <laughs> Let's talk about fishing. 
something we have in common. I know I catch bigger fish than you, Antigua. You only fish off the jetty and catch little fish like that. But I what kind pictures, of fish? I have pictures to say different. <laughs> well, we'll we'll have to. I beg to differ. But what what kind of fish could we catch here? You could get yellowtail snapper. You know, you can get some grout. But mainly around this area, those are the main two you'll get. Can you cook the fish that you catch? Come on, Josh. No, come I've on, never eaten your on. I've never tasted your hands, I have to ask. I'm an excellent, excellent chef. You could ask my girlfriend or my kids. Okay. Maybe I can ask Jaden about your cooking. I had him in the toilet for a couple of days. Ah! <laughs> That's a lie. <laughs> but exquisite. Ask him how the jerk chicken and pasta. He said it did taste good, but he didn't have him in the toilet. No man, no. That's a lie. We were roommates two days ago. I'll have to cook for you then. I'll pass. <laughs> well, I'm waiting on your invite. To cook some food for me. No worries. If I ask your wife or your kids what they enjoy eating from you the most, it's what do you okay. Think you, you don't have to ask my wife or my kids. You could ask my Lyrans teammates. Uh huh. And I'd say my lasagna. Lasagna. I'll have to taste it. Maybe one day I'll Maybe. come check in Antigua and you'll cook something for me. If you have time. No, I always have time for you. I know you're, you're busy. No, no, always have time. You've been in the setup for, for quite some time. You're still very young. But what would you say have you learned in your six years of being around the Western New Setup? I'd say patience. Sometimes you want something to happen, but it wouldn't happen right away. You know, you have to just wait till it's your time, put your best foot out, and just, you know, like I said, be patient. Do you think being around for so long, do you think you can, you have a lot to, to offer to the up and coming fast bowlers? You have Jaden Seals and Anderson Phillip, who Jaden has played about four test matches and Andy now in the squad for the first time. What, what do you think you can offer them now coming into the team and now they're finding their feet? What I can offer is, you know, advice on some of the things I've been through, some of the mistakes I've made, and try and help them to not make those same mistakes. This is a, a good one. What would you it's, think? It's pretty easy. No, no. What would you think is your most embarrassing moment in your career so far? So far, for me, maybe not for the general public, but for me, the most embarrassing thing would have been being hit for five sixes in and over. I would have thought it would have been your cooking, but we'll take that. No. Oh, God. That's pretty tough. Who hit you those five sixes? It's doing Bravo. <laughs> in St. Kitts. Oh, uh, that's a flat road. Nah, it doesn't matter. All right. Never let it happen again. Yeah. Good. So, Z, wrap it up now. What do you think about my interviewing skills? Do you think I have a career? I think you should stick to cricket. <laughs> I thought I did pretty well. Mm, you speak well. Okay, take that. Right. Nice having you, Z. Don't stop cricket. <laughs> Thanks, man.